welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. We're on day 21 when we don't include the weekend. This is it's longer than I was anticipating, but that's okay because we're making art every day, right guys? Are you guys making art every day? Because I am and it feels pretty great. Um, even days where I feel stressed out, it really helps me come back and like find what's important and recenter myself. So that's what I really want you guys to be using this as. Either it's helping you structure your at-home learning time with your children, or it's helping you as an adult without any kids kind of structure your own life, kind of take away to breathe and relax. So what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna go back to that calm art making, and we're gonna be doing crayon resist. Now you will need crayons for this. You could try to use wax or something else in the house, something that's gonna cause the paint or the water to not go on top. So that's what a crayon resist is. You're gonna draw with crayon, then we're gonna paint on top. And we're gonna to try to be loose. We're not gonna, we're gonna think about shapes and lines like we've been doing, and we're gonna keep it a little abstract. Now, if you wanna write words in that crayon, you totally can make it your own, but let's get started. So for our crayon resist technique, you're gonna wanna use white is honestly the most preferred and I also like the fact that you can't see it after it's done, you can only feel it. But for the sake of our video, I'm gonna be using these light colors so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but again, if you have a white crayon, it's really fun, especially for younger kids to be like, wow, or even for an adult, to not worry so much. Now you could draw a picture of something, you could draw a cat or whatever you want but for today's my example I'm gonna go back to those circles that I do I'm gonna go back to lines and I want us to just be calm and in the moment and I don't want us to be too particular still always think about composition it can be in the back of your mind Think about movement, how this goes through the page. Think about lines, shapes. You can also switch it up if I have this going on, but maybe I'll do. Do you think about the thickness of the line? Because remember, the paint or the water will not rest on this. If you do not have crayons at home, wax. So if you have a candle, you could try drawing with a candle. Anything that's going to resist that water. If you don't have paint, marker will also be resisted if it's a water-based marker. It's kind of similar to those eggs, maybe a little bit looser than that, that we did. Now remember, if you can't see it, you might be drawing on top of the things you already have. And so I kind of like where this is at. Now I can take my water. I can take my watercolors. And I'm going to use a pretty big paintbrush. And remember, keep the colors in the back of your mind. So like now we have some hot colors, the yellows. And so I might do some cool... I might think of this kind of like a landscape. 
And watch how that paint cannot sit on the crayon. I really like this. So I just kind of let it go. Be else, I'll let it go. I may well transition in some other cool colors down here if I'm thinking kind of like a landscape. Now you could obviously take your time, be a little more careful, but for me, when I need to relax, I like to do this kind of scribble. It's kind of like that video we did a little bit ago the other weekend where we painted like a child, but now we're adding another technique on top of it. We're doing a resist because I like to not always have to worry and think and then I kind of just blend my colors on the paper if you're having colors similar to each other they'll blend really nicely so like my yellow and blue make green so those three I can just work them on the paper together Look how it bounces right off that crayon. I love that. So you don't have to be careful because the crayon won't get covered up. It just stays there. And there you go. We have our crayon resist. So I hope you guys had fun today. I hope you learned something new, tried a new technique that maybe you haven't done before, or maybe you haven't done it since you were a kid, but you realized how you could incorporate this into your own practice. Or maybe you don't really have an artistic practice, but you're creating one right now, or you do journaling, or you do um, the bullet points, or the your note taking in your journal, or whatever it is, and you can work this in to something you already do. Maybe it's your to-do list. You draw this and now you put it, your to-do list on top of it, but it makes you smile. You knew you made it and it made you feel good. So I hope you're able to take this practice and use it in your own life. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Again, I know I say this every video. I say this every video because it matters. Please tell me what you want me to show you how to do. If there's an art technique you've seen on TikTok or on Instagram or on Facebook and you're like, man, I really want to do that. I'll teach you and or I'll tell you specifically like what supplies you can supplement because I know that's a problem we're all having right now is that supplementing of supplies. So please let me know. Tell me what supplies you have and what technique you want to do and we'll come up with a plan because ultimately what we have in our house, we can make it work. So please like, subscribe, comment, tell people about this if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate the word of mouth. And ultimately, you know me, I just want people making art every day. That's it. This art teacher wants everyone to make art and be happy. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. And if you didn't check out my Easter videos, it's never too late to paint rocks and to, you know, make a bunny. So please, uh, Come back and see us tomorrow for Art with Miss Choke. Bye.